Hi everyone, it's Vita from Honest and Tasty again, and the weather is getting much colder in Chicago, so I think it's just the perfect time to make my favorite pasta ever, and it's my beef shank pasta. If you don't cook with beef shanks, what are you thinking? You got to. It's like the best cut of beef ever. It gets really tender. It just melts in your mouth. So we are making this with some fettuccine and some crushed San Marzano tomatoes. It's to die for. So you want about four beef shanks. I'm just gonna start trimming it. You wanna get rid of most of the excess fat. And we're gonna use these bones too because the bones, that is where all the flavor is. So they're gonna look like this once you've trimmed them down. In a heavy oven safe pot, Go ahead and pour a few tablespoons of olive oil, let it heat up, and add in your beef shanks. You can use short ribs if you don't find beef shanks anywhere, and just brown them on each side. We're not trying to cook them, we're just getting a good crust going. Once it's all browned, remove them. Turn your heat down a little bit, add your onion. This is one chopped onion, give it a mix. Add about a tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of turmeric. Add 28 ounces of crushed San Marzano tomatoes. Deglaze that pan, get all the yummy stuff. Ooh, totally splashed everywhere. Turn off the heat and add the beef shanks back in. Add the bones, add a cup and a half of water, put a heavy top on, put it in the oven, set it 350 degrees for three to three and a half hours or until tender. At the halfway point, take a peek and see if your liquid has evaporated if it has, replace it with some water because you don't want your meat to burn. Um, and then just put it back and let it go for the full three and a half hours. So three and a half hours later, my beef shanks are really tender and perfect and they've completely just, they're ready, they're ready to melt in my mouth. We're gonna take the bones out and the rest of the beef will be used for the pasta just couldn't help myself. I wanted some marrow and so I just thought, let me show you guys what it looks like if you've never seen it before. Um, it's just really, really, really tender. It really does just sort of melt on your tongue and it's the most delicious, flavorful experience of my life. Don't throw it away. Eat it, please eat it. And it's, it's there's a lot of nutrients in the marrow. It's, um, it's actually really good for you, so eat it. To a large pot, we've just added water. It's come to a boil. Add a bunch of salt and add in your fettuccine pasta. Once the pasta's been cooked, just start putting it in to your meat. This smells amazing. All it needs is a little garnish of fresh parsley and a little bit of red chili flakes, optional of course, and not so optional, some really good Parmesan cheese. It's right over the top. And then a little bit of a taste test for you guys, but really for me, let's be real. But if you guys go to honestandtasty.com, you will be able to find the recipe and make this and enjoy it just like I'm about to. It smells divine. Bon appetit. It's like if dinner was a dessert sort of thing. It's not sweet, but it's just like you, you just want to get to this part. It's so rich and so almost just creamy because the meat is so tender. And then the tomato flavors get really concentrated in here. It's time for lunch, so I'm gonna eat a bunch. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye bye.